What's going on, people? It's Terminator Juice. And this is going to be a before and after video. Uh, for once, I'm actually recording something beforehand so I can show uh, in the beginning and then some of the in between and then the final product. So, turn the camera around here. I'm in my theater room. Um, I just made some uh, some masking to which you probably let's see yeah you can kind of see I just made styrofoam cut it out of bevel and then wrapped some wrapped it with some premium velvet and uh, it looks all right it's not perfect but anyway uh, purpose of this video is to do something that's long overdue as you can see um, I have the exposure up a bit and the lights on full like it looks like you know I got a LED strip there. That's actually some really light gray painted um, wood. And in 2006, when I did this, I was inspired by a building I seen with this black, white, and gray color scheme. And also, I had just finished a full acoustically treated theater room at a friend's house. And uh, I was trying to match kind of the look of that without having acoustics at the time. I didn't have the time or money. Um, now I've treated the room and uh, I'm just, uh, well, what actually started was I took the masking from the screen and I set it along the wall to, um, while I was watching 16 by 9 content. And I was like, holy crap, what a difference it makes not having that white trim there. So I'm going to paint the trim a this color I forgot where I put it it's called satin black but it's a it's a dark gray and then I am going to uh, paint the rest of the room from you know the right side of well that beams gonna be gone but from here all the way around in a single color and get rid of the white dividing trim there and obviously I'm going to have to patch some holes and prep the walls. Um, so basically I'm going to build wider dark beams. Um, you know, probably those are, that's a three and a half inch board. It's probably going to be eight to ten inch wide beam, floor to ceiling. And I'm going to build diffusion panels into it. And then I'm going to stack these like stairs so this one's going to come down 12 inches that one's going to come down six inches and then the one in the back is going to stay the same do the same thing over here even though it's not going to look quite right because the doorway that one's not at the full height but it'll be fine uh, and then since I'm putting a beam here one of the other issues I've had now that Dolby Atmos is a thing, is I had my side surrounds up at the ceiling because I need to walk through here, and you can't see, but let me turn the camera around. You know, if I put this any lower, it's going to smack my head, so I had to put these at the ceiling. I have a low ceiling, it's six, only 6 foot 8 inches, um, and without, without Dolby Atmos, these were amazing up here because it made sounds sound like they're going over your head and all around but uh now that i have four atmos speakers um i've been wanting to lower these so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replicate the beam from the front which is only going to be maybe five inches four or five inches off the wall and then i'm going to put in wall speakers probably you know i'll say the tweeter is going to be closer to it's going to be a bit higher, probably 10 inches maybe higher than the front speakers. And the, those beams will go floor to ceiling as well. And then if I like how that sounds, I might do the same thing back here for my rear surrounds. Where I'll do the same beam and then I'll put um, in walls. But I'm pretty happy with my back surrounds because I have them pointed down towards my listening position and towed in so i'm pretty happy but i could still do the beam and then i could uh match up where that shelf is and then pull the speakers out you know so and still have the look but also i'm going to lower these uh acoustic panels down the same height as the front ones 
and then with those being like the stair and then the new beam there um, I think it's gonna look good so my next step is to remove all the trim I'm gonna relocate these um, so I know where to, fi to fill in the holes of the old mounting spots and yeah so this is stage one this is before I do anything so uh, next uh, next you'll see after I've made some progress in this I figure this can take me a couple weeks probably total get everything wrapped up but uh, for you it'll be a few minutes uh, but yeah we'll see you when we get something done all right so uh, I made a little progress took longer than I expected because I had to pull out a bunch of nails and I had glued this wood up so it ripped quite a bit of the surface of the drywall um, not a big deal I'm gonna put a beam there anyway uh, but I am gonna try to make it look as good as possible so I went and lowered the panels I'm gonna fix refix the spacing once uh, I get the beam in place I'm gonna do the uh, you know left to right spacing but I'm happy with how that looks uh, this one I ripped was way more glued um, back in the day when I was young and dumb I used a lot of liquid nails and I definitely shouldn't have done it there but it's not that big a deal luckily I didn't use it across the trim so I'm gonna have to sand and well I'm gonna have to patch with some mud and uh, and sand that down and it's probably gonna be somewhat noticeable when I paint it all one color because I did leave you know that was never painted there's a paint there's a tape line there I'm gonna try to sand down um, you know just this is the ugly stage um, it might actually look uglier once I get all the mud on. I did a little bit there. Just some uh, some spackle, but I'm going to mix up some good, good mud. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about doing now that I have the trim off is I might take this section of couch. This comes off. I might remove this section, and I might cut a hole in the carpet and feed this power line across under the carpet and then I'm probably gonna cut away the drywall so that that can be hidden um, I don't know if I want it trapped behind the trim though if I ever have an issue with this power with this plug so decisions decisions anyway that's an update next uh, I'm gonna pull the panels off fill all the holes and yeah that should be the next the next update all right we're to the next day and now I have patched everything removed all the acoustic panels over here I already did some sanding and I just put a quick coat of flat black just to see you know it's not perfect but it doesn't have to be because the beams gonna be there but, you know, I'm trying to get it as good as, as nice as possible. I'm going to repaint this whole, this black on both sides. And, uh, you know, just get that done. Have an, and then I'll eventually do the front wall when I uh, do some up there. I got a plan for the next, next year to do something acoustically transparent screen. Put a center channel behind it. All that. So, anyway, yeah, this is what it looks like. All mudded. I'm not looking forward to sanding the rest um, because just that little strip I did made quite the mess um, so we'll see how that goes but yeah that's uh, that's this update the next honestly I probably won't post an update till I have um, the walls all painted well I lied because I haven't painted yet but I just wanted to talk Real quick, I got everything sanded. I did a, a little bit of prime with some uh, leftover flat black I had, but I ran out. So um, sanding sucked, but I got the uh, marks for the, where the beams are going to be. I got the wood cut, 
and it's gonna be pretty much perfect. It just turned out the center of that beam where the center the tweeter is gonna be is going to be like perfectly in line with my ear when I'm sitting on the couch. Why wow, this just does not want to focus. Um, yeah, so I got everything taped off. I got tarps down. And I'm going to do the gray first. And um, I just want to take this opportunity to show the color. Now it's... If I didn't do this, it, you would th it would look very similar, I think, if you didn't have them side by side. But it is lighter. It's got a slight bluish, bluish tint. And the main reason I'm painting was to get rid of that dividing trim. And I got to make it one color, so I just decided to uh, find a color that matches better with the acoustic panels I made. The uh, charcoal color fabric. Also, this was satin. Um, it's dulled now because I sanded it. The, I made the mistake of painting the satin. So I'm going to go with like flat and uh, a s ultra scuff defense version on uh, from Bear. So it's going to be floor to ceiling this color. Which will be a nice consistent look with the, the beams being that dark gray that the trim is going to be. And I have a really cool, I came up with a really cool idea to make a diffusion panel built into the beam which I'm excited about I'll show that when it's done um, so yeah the floor to ceiling is going to all be one color which is going to be nice it's going to be flat so it's not going to be satin and not have that glossy sheen to it it's going to reflect less light even though it's slightly lighter color so yeah this is uh this is it I mean I called that other other stage I think the ugly stage and um it definitely looks slightly better now that it's sanded, but sanding's definitely the worst part of uh, projects like this. But anyway, that's that. Next time you'll see will be either just the first coat or be completely done. So we'll see you in a second. Well, guess what? I lied again. I'm not going to show the uh, the paint at this point. I have two coats on. I've waited a couple of days for it to dry. I actually recorded a, a, a segment showing it, but I was defeated after like a 12 hour day of painting and getting all the trim and other stuff uh, sanded and prepped. I was just exhausted and it just sounded like completely unenergetic. And uh, plus I decided the room already looks so much different painted that the, it won't be as big of a difference going from that to the final room so i'm just gonna you can see behind me a little bit um i'm just gonna wait till the till i get the beams up and and i think have the final presentation to show it um but i am going to go show you the progress of the two beams i'm working on i got the speakers today and uh, i got the beams primed and the mounts for them i already had them up on the wall made you know, made sure everything fit, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to go show that in my little workshop, kind of talk about that, and yeah, we'll see you in a second. Alright, so coming to the workshop, I had to uh, clean it up a bit because it was pretty messy, so here are the two beams. This is the right beam that's going to have the light switch as I come in the room. These are Polk 65RT in walls. The, uh, so you can get a, they kind of look like the paradigms. Um, the way the tweeter surrounded like that. It's a um, fully rotatable tweeter. And uh, yeah, the beams turned out pretty good. Um, I ended up going with plywood because... It was just too expensive to do like solid wood for the front. Um, so I've had to do a lot of filling with spackle and sanding. Um, and I'm going to have, it's going to be painted dark. There's there's two, two screws on either side, top and bottom, um, to mount it to the wall. So here's uh, here's the other one. Nice looking speaker. Um, they're 
you know, decent size. I have the tweeter at 60 inches off the ground. And my front speakers, the tweeter is 40 inches, so because of that light switch, I didn't want to go too much lower. And plus, if I ever have three people on the couch, the person in the middle is going to need, need to be able to have, you know, line of sight or line of whatever with your ears. So I put them up a little bit. The old um, speakers would have been, the tweeter would have been about here. So I forget, it's like a 20 inch difference, 18 inch difference. Um, and then I have the wood to do the two front speakers where I'm going to do a cutout. And then I'm going to have um, like dividers. It's going to be like a diffusion panel. Um, so that one's going to take a little more work than just these simple ones here. You know, I just cut out for the speaker. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at. Um, I also have to I have these rear acoustic um, bass traps. Basically, they're four inches thick. I need to mount some uh, French cleats on them and, and get those mounted in the back of the room. And then paint the trim for the doorways, same color as these beams. And then I have the baseboard in the other room. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm also going to fill the beams with insulation um, up to from the bottom up to probably right here and then I'm just gonna probably do I mean because if this was in the wall there would be insulation I'll probably go a few inches above and then uh, I'll just show you on the inside um, I put Gorilla Glue all along there to uh, to really hold it together and uh so there's no air and stuff going through so yeah that's that so next uh i don't know maybe once i get the beams painted put up and then the trim around the doors i'll put the acoustic panels on maybe i'll do uh almost a final reveal there i'm, I'm not sure uh, maybe i'll just put one beam up and and show that but yeah that's uh that's this update so next time you see it i don't know it might be completely done so we'll see you then all right so i decided to show the beams i just got two coats on looks really nice it's gonna really improve the elegance of the room uh there's a few spots i might have to put a third coat but i just wanted to show this because i think the next time i uh, show the room i'm gonna have pretty much it everything done so I got the trim for the two doors did some of the baseboard definitely needs two coats going over white but yeah um, I'm excited I gotta let this dry probably 24 hours before I put the speakers in but I'm gonna put them up on the wall as soon as uh, an hour goes by and they're and they're dry so cool stuff We'll uh, we'll see what the next update will be, but until then. All right, so I just wanted to show, I uh, got beam, this is the rear beam in place. I got one speaker installed, and I have not painted the uh, speaker grill, but it's magnetic. It actually don't look too bad white. I wish it was like light gray. So yeah, that's a look at... Uh, at that beam, I know it's kind of dark in here, but I do. I have the trimmer on the door, and it's uh, looking pretty good. So on the left side, I have yet to put the speaker in, and uh, it's just an opening. Got some packed it with insulation, and then on the back, I put some uh, backing material so the insulation wasn't rubbing against the wall. Uh, this beam was just simple, um, just the one cutout. So on this beam, I had to mount the light switch, which I just put another electrical box and just a little eight-inch extension from the old. Um, it just happened to work out that my old light switch was where the beam's going to be. So yeah, that's a look at these two beams that are done in place, um, and I'm going to show you the front beams uh, in progress. All right, so here we have one of the front beams. 
and uh, it's been routered. So what I did is I have a one by four, which is actually three and a half, three quarter by three and a half, and then I have half inch like birch plywood. It has a pretty nice finish. And what I did was I rough cut this opening about, I left about an eighth to a quarter inch and just cut out the opening um, on both. Just rough cutted it and then I, uh, I mounted these to the wall, to the two by fours on the wall and then I put braces on the top and bottom and then I took this pre-cut and uh, you know if I needed to I pulled the, the board out and nailed it and I put wood glue or I pushed in if uh, to get this lined up on the outside but then I took my router and I have a bit that's just for edging and uh, it goes along this and it just trimmed up so it's like perfectly smooth and I did that on the inside to clean up that rough cut as you can see it's a perfect cut and then I took a slight bevel um, on the router slight radius and went around so you get the you can see the curve there and went around the whole thing and uh, filled in all the the knots and uh, other blemishes with just spackle and then caulk the seam here so what's going to happen is I'll go down to the primed one What's going to happen is I'm going to paint this the same color as the trim. And then I'm going to cut out some uh, half inch pink. Uh, I think I got some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a uh, half inch Owens Corning foam board insulation. I'm going to cut out to fill the square and put put it in from the bottom like that and then I'm gonna um, make spacers and I'm gonna put vertical ones glued down and I'm probably I'm thinking I might do various heights or have them all the same height and then have pieces going this way of varying heights. I only have, I only be able to put four in here and then I'll have like you know a couple stacked so that there's different um, spaces you know height height wise so you know one will be like that the next one might be up here and then you know I'll, I'll and then I'll mirror it for the bottom one I'm just gonna do the opposite mirror it the other way and uh, these are gonna be paint, painted black which these take paint really well uh, wall paint so just imagine four of these and then like maybe narrower probably be half this width um, so that it's just gonna create a sound diffusion and also I think it's gonna look good with these this being black and that being like the dark gray so that's just a look at uh, at the beams I'm, I'm really happy with how they are right now and uh, We'll see when it's all done. Um, I don't expect like major sound improvement, but I just wanted to add a bit of diffusion and um, to go with all the acoustic uh, absorption. All right, so what we have here is that beam now painted. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a few days. I took a one day off and then I just kind of spent all day yesterday getting these sanded I put a one thin coat of kills primer then I did a coat of black flat black um, because I didn't like how this uh, dark gray covered over the white and then I did two coats of this which is called satin black so it looks really nice and I'm very happy with the finish so what am I going to do with it? Well, you see here, half inch thick foam board pink, painted black in spots. Let me uh, turn this light on. So what's going to happen is, 
is I'm going to arrange everything. Well, I've already prearranged everything, so what's going to happen is, as you can see, It's going to act like a diffusion panel, and it's going to go in these cavities. Basically, I'm going to use a little glue under, and uh, yeah, I got it all test fitted and stuff, and uh, next I'm going to show one side installed, and then the finished beam, and then Basically, after that, it's going to be, you know, showing the room. So, stay tuned. All right, so it only took me, like, ten minutes to get this done. And, uh, you know, when you have an idea in your head, let me kill that light. And I've been thinking about this for over a week. And then to finally see that it turned out exactly as I was hoping. I went with the flat black on the styrofoam or a foam board and then the dark gray on the beam and I can't wait till I'm gonna mirror the other side in the top really easy installation I did a gorilla glue which takes about three hours to set up and I made sure not to go too heavy because it does uh, gorilla glue does kind of expand and foam up so yeah I'm gonna get that other side and uh, show you what it looks like and then get started on the next one all right so I finished both beams let them dry about three hours because Gorilla Glue that's about a good time uh, let me turn this light off real quick but yeah they look I mean I'm so happy with these uh, you would never believe that that was pink foam board it just looks so good um, I'm very happy and I you know like I said before you know I had this idea in my head and it actually turned out even better than I dared hope so yeah next uh, next I'll have them on the wall and be showing the whole room so uh, if you stuck with me this long appreciate it and uh, let's take a look All right, so uh, you might be wondering what where I'm at. So uh, before I show the room, the room is now done. Um, it's been just under two weeks since I recorded the first part. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd start. Um, this is already going to be a long video, so I appreciate if you made it this far. By the way, my name is Bo. And uh, yeah, this, if you're a uh, subscriber to Build Montage, my theater was uh, featured about a year ago on his channel so um, what I wanted to do was just do a little side focus here on something I had just completely ignored for most of uh, the time I've been in my house which is 15 years now was the entrance into my house and down into the outside of the theater room was honestly an eyesore and it was an embarrassment um, once I started working on it, I realized how bad it was. And, uh, you know, if I was going to do like a, a, a theater crawl with other people in Michigan or have somebody over to see the room, um, I, I had this idea, well, I can't show my room and when I'm embarrassed for people to come in my house. So I'm going to just do a quick, like, one minute walk down the stairs, um, maybe throw in a before photo or something of the basement um, before we go in the room. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll get to it. All right, so this is honestly the first thing you see when you come into my house. This is my entrance door, kitchen, and this was hideous, ugly wallpaper. Stairs were just bare wood, painted, and the floor was 50, 60-year-old tile. That was just a disaster. Um, so you come down, that's the entrance to the theater room. I'm just going to show a quick 
Uh, you know, this is the laundry room. I, uh, I built a closet that was just open. And so I built actually built a closet, drywalled it. I got some stuff in here, but ooh, super bright. Anyway, that might that's something I'm thinking of doing a hush box for my projector. But anyway, built the closet. Um, you know, did the flooring, and it's a really nice. One of the nicest places in my house, other than my theater room. Um, so yeah, so now we have. I'll, Post a before shot right here. Um, and then, you know, got the workshop, which you've seen. Got it cleaned up. So, yeah, now it's time for the reveal. Um, I'm pretty excited. I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So, let's let's go in. And I turned on. Got a movie playing. Ghost in the Shell 2017. Um so yeah, here is the room. Let me uh, get so the, there's my, I was calling these beams, these are actually columns, so I apologize to uh, any architects. Got the walls painted. Got the, uh, you know, both columns. Got the speakers in, what you've seen. Um, stack those like stairs i kind of wanted to replicate like the feeling of like stadium seating even though i don't have a riser i ended up refabricating the back panels because it just didn't look right black um my door which i didn't talk about is a curtain and i have some sound diffusion which i'll show maybe um so let's have a look and i didn't get the uh paint yet to uh match the speaker grills so there's the uh, the right side, and I uh, I purposely left my masking a because this is a sixteen by nine movie. But um, I learned something when I put this when I put that down there. And now it kind of like hides and creates a perfect black um, void there when the lights are out. So I'm gonna actually. I don't know, I might have to build a stage or something because I like how that looks. So, anyway, I'm going to cut to cut back to some earlier footage uh, so you can see the, the stark difference going back and forth. So, uh, I had a shot just kind of showing this wall. As you can see, um, the white trim, it was just like glowing. And then... Uh, back I lowered those and uh, refabric them you know uh, that's gonna I was I already ordered the paint to color match but I am also considering doing black there because I have the two-tone on the on these columns my sound diffusion um, so one of the things uh, one problem that popped up was I had my remote IR sent uh, RF sender there and it looked wrong now that the bottom half's not black. So I actually put it up in the ceiling because this is acoustic transparent fabric. Um, check out my video on my drop ceiling. Uh, yeah, so I had to solve that problem. Uh, the other thing I mentioned was I was going to get rid of... I was going to run that cable under the carpet, which I did. I was a little worried about it. It wasn't too bad. And uh, it just comes out, let me raise the brightness here, so it just comes out and then goes through just like my subwoofer cables. Um, yeah, so that looks really clean. I'm happy I don't have a tripping hazard here. I can walk through. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Um, it looks better to the eye than my, my crappy camera can pick up, but I think, you know, you get the idea. I think the columns really added an elegance to this room. The color, a little more blue than I thought it was going to be. And uh, let me dim the lights a bit. But overall, I'm very happy. 
and uh, yeah, sounds great. I mean, no huge improvement, but definitely no negative improvement. And yes, uh, also I was going to show real quick, because since my room tour on Tony's channel, Build Montage, I've, I have changed my rack a bit. So I now have, and, and below my Yamaha, I have two Niles, 50 by 2 amps, powering my Atmos speakers. Freed up, so my uh, my Yamaha is only powering uh, seven speakers, and then I got a UB820 4K Blu-ray player, which is sitting on my HD DVD, which I don't use honestly. I should just probably unhook it, but it fills that gap nicely. I also added an Amazon or not Amazon, a Apple TV 4K box, and then I left my old Sony Blu-ray player because that I can play my Atmos demos through that um, via USB. And I have the current gen Apple 4K. And uh, yeah, the, uh, that's the amazing steelbook for Ghost in the Shell. Highly underrated movie. I think it's uh, I think it's a great, um, definitely a great Atmos movie. If you have a 16 by 9 screen, it's really, it's a must have. Um, because seeing 16 by 9 content on a 16 by 9 screen is is definitely the uh, the best thing you can do when you have that aspect ratio screen. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to end this with uh, crank it up a bit. I know this, you know, never comes through, but um, it's still, uh, it, I think, worthy of trying. You know, and the sound of my my phone actually picks up uh, audio really well. Alright, so I just wanted to sit down and do some closing thoughts. Uh, again, appreciate you if you watch this. I know not a ton of people are going to check it out. But, uh, yeah, this has been uh, quite the journey over the course of two weeks. Um, a lot more work. I spent just probably about 640 bucks, including the speakers, on all the paint, the wood, materials, paint brushes, glues, you know, all that stuff. I had leftover fabric, which I used on my rear base traps but yeah i feel it was really worth it completely transformed this room um it was good before i really honestly did like the the black gray and white color scheme but you know it just wasn't it just wasn't the best for a movie watching experience so uh yeah let me know what you think of the of the change and uh you know maybe i'll do some follow-up videos honestly uh, this stuff is excites me more than than any of the gaming content um the past probably six months or so so uh yeah appreciate you for watching and uh we'll see you next time